Question number 211. You are building an agent by using the Azure AI agent service. You need to ensure that the agent can access publicly accessible data that was released during the past 90 days. You need to complete the following code. What should you choose for drop down one? Option A Azure AI search resource. Option B Being grounding tool definition. Option C Tool resources. The correct answer is Option B Being grounding tool definition. You are configuring the agent to access publicly available data and the Bing grounding tool is specifically designed to enable real-time access to web search result. When using Bing grounding tool definition, you provide a tool connection list with a connection ID linked to Bing, allowing the agent to retrieve relevant up-to-date information from the web such as news from the past 90 days. Question number 212. You are building an agent by using the Azure AI agent service. You need to ensure that the agent can access publicly accessible data that was released during the past 90 days. You need to complete the following code. What should you choose for drop down to? Option A Metadata. Option B Tool Resources. Option C Tools. The correct answer is Option C Tools. The create agent async method expect a list of tool definitions under the tools parameter. In this case, you are passing a list that includes the grounding object, which is a tool like Bing grounding tool definition. This aligns with the Azure AI agent service SDK structure, where agents are configured with one or more tools. Question number 213. You plan to provision Azure Cognitive Services resources by using the following command. You need to create a standard tier resource that will convert scanned receipt into text. You need to call the method. What should you choose for drop down 1? Option A Computer Vision. Option B Custom Vision dot prediction. Option C Custom Vision dot training. Option D Form Recognizer. The correct answer is Option D Form Recognizer. It is specifically designed for extracting information from documents, including scanned receipt. This service uses optical character recognition, OCR, and other AI techniques to convert various types of document into structured data. Given the requirement to convert scanned receipt into text, AI document intelligence is the most appropriate choice. Question number 214. You plan to provision Azure Cognitive Services resources by using the following method. You need to create a standard tier resource that will convert scanned receipt into text. You need to call the method. What should you choose for drop down to? Option A. East US S1 Option B US East S1 
Option C, S0, East US. Option D, S0, US, East. The correct answer is Option C, S0, East US. We want to create standard tier resources. AI document intelligence comes in two tiers, F0 and S0. F0 is for the free tier, whereas S0 is for standard tier resources. And the location parameter to specify is East US. Question number 215. You are developing an app that will use the speech and language APIs. You need to provision resources for the app. The solution must ensure that each service is accessed by using a single endpoint and credential. Which type of resource should you create? Option A, Azure AI language. Option B, Azure AI speech. Option C, Azure AI service. Option D, Azure AI content safety. The correct answer is Option C, Azure AI service. The Azure AI service, formerly known as Cognitive Services Multi-Service Account, allows you to access multiple AI capabilities such as speech and language APIs using a single endpoint and a single set of credentials. This simplifies authentication and integration when your app uses multiple AI services. Just a quick reminder, if you don't have time to watch these videos and instead download all questions and answers, feel free to purchase them on Buy Me A Coffee page. I have shared the link below. Question number 216. You are developing an application that will use the Azure AI Vision Client Library. The application has the following code. For the following statement, select yes if the statement is true. Otherwise, select no. The code will perform face recognition. Option A, yes. Option B, no. The correct answer is Option B, no. The provided code specifies the visual feature types dot tags and visual feature types dot description for image analysis which are used for tagging and generating description of the image content. Face recognition requires specifying visual feature types dot faces to analyze and recognize faces in an image. Question number 217. You are developing an application that will use the Azure AI Vision Client Library. The application has the following code. For the following statement, select yes if the statement is true, otherwise select no. The code will list tag and their associated confidence. Option A, yes. Option B, no. The correct answer is Option A, yes. The code includes the visual feature types dot tags in the visual underscore features parameter and iterates over the image underscore analysis dot tags to print each tag's name along with its confidence score. This will list the tags identified in the image and their associated confidence values. Question number 218. 
you are developing an application that will use the Azure AI Fusion Client Library. The application has the following code. For the following statement, select yes if the statement is true, otherwise select no. The code will read an image file from the local file system. Option A, yes. Option B, no. The correct answer is Option A, yes. The code opens a local image file using open local underscore image comma rb as image underscore stream and reads it as a binary stream which is then passed to the analyze underscore image underscore in underscore stream method for analysis. Question number 219. You have an app that uses Azure AI and a custom trend classifier to identify products in images. You need to add new product to the classifier. The solution must meet the following requirement. Minimize how long it takes to add the product. Minimize development effort. Which five actions should you perform in sequence? 1. Label the sample images. 2. From Vision Studio, open the project. 3. Publish the model. 4. From the custom vision portal, open the project. 5. Retrain the model. 6. Upload sample images of the new product. 7. From the Azure Machine Learning Studio, open the workspace. Option A, 2, 6, 1, 5, 3. Option B, 4, 6, 5, 1, 3. Option C, 4, 6, 1, 5, 3. Option D, 2, 6, 5, 1, 3. The correct answer is option C, 4, 6, 1, 5, 3. Open the project in the custom vision portal. Upload sample images of the new products. Label them, retrain the model with the new data, and then publish the updated model. This sequence ensures minimal development effort and quick integration of new product into the classifier. Question number 220. You are developing a text processing solution. You develop the following method. You call the method by using the following code. Get underscore key underscore phrases. Text underscore analytics underscore client. The cat sat on the mat. For the following statement, select yes. If the statement is true, otherwise select no. The call will output key phrases from the input string to the console. Option A, yes. Option B, no. The correct answer is option A, yes. The key phrase extraction API evaluates unstructured text and for each session document returns a list of key phrases. As defined in the section print key phrase function, it prints the key phrases extracted from the input string to the console.